Did you know that Microsoft Intune is more than capable of doing your application management? Some of the questions that might pop up is, how can I upgrade an existing package on my environment? What if I have a process blocking my upgrade? Do I actually need to use the supersede model in Win32 apps? I mean, it's easy to use the Microsoft Edge application or the Microsoft 365 apps. It's just as is. But when it comes to Win32 apps, it's custom and it's up to you to make the intelligence. So join me in this demo. Welcome to another episode of Mem Tips and Tricks. In the last episode, I showed you a process how to go through and create Win32 apps for Microsoft Intune. In this episode, I want to show you how to prompt if a certain process is open while we're trying to upgrade an application. We will use the service UI, and to some, this is a known uh, tool to other it's a brand new tool in this demo we will use google chrome as an example let's dive in so i've cheated i created a google chrome folder i put the powershell app deployment toolkit into it and the service ui i open a powershell window with administrative permission and i convert it to a cmd and then i put the service ui in here just to show you what parameters we have we are able to just launch a program, we can use a session, and we can use a process to check for. If you go into the task manager, you can go into details, and here you can actually see the different sessions, and if you cannot, you can go and select columns and add session ID. Here you see the difference between zero, one and two in my environment, where zero is system, and two was obviously my user. Drag and drop the Google Chrome Enterprise MSI into the files and open the deploy application PS1. Let's fill out the information. We have the show installation progress, which will show you the progress bar. And we are going to use the show installation welcome and close app Chrome as parameter. Did you notice the little detail about me writing Chrome and not Chrome XE. Well, that's the parameter that PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit wants us to write. So whenever the Chrome application come down to the client, it will ask and prompt if Google Chrome is open to be closed. Let's go into the PowerShell help menu. We're going to launch this MSI package and go to the execute MSI and get one of the examples. Trim the parameters so it fits for your installation. In this case, the Chrome MSI Enterprise. We'll put some extra parameters into the um, command line just to ensure that the package installed per device and it doesn't require reboot. Then we go into the help again. And in this case, we want to use the remove MSI application, copy the uh, Chrome Enterprise MSI installation down to the uninstallation area and change the action from install to uninstall. Before adding it to Intune, we'll just want to test that it actually works as intended. And we start the Chrome and we start the installation. And as you can see, we are prompted that we should close Chrome before proceeding this installation. So just to give you the overview, now we've, we've added all the needed components for this installation to upgrade another Google Chrome. We prompt if Chrome is open and therefore block our upgrade process. In the last episode of the Win32 demo, I showed you how to create a Win32 app. So. In this demo, I will jump straight into the area where we will use the service UI, and that's the parameters. So let's jump right into the program parameters, where we're going to use the service UI 
and deploy application.exe and the uninstall command deploy application exe and uninstall. Now we want Service UI to go after a certain process named Explorer. That will always be open for the logged on user. Make the app available for all users and create the app. Make sure the app is created successfully and jump into your test workstation. In this demo, we've already installed a older version of Google Chrome. I've tested this so many times, so I only have a reinstall button. The installation start running, and as you can see, Google Chrome came down from Microsoft Intune, and I am prompted to close Google Chrome. In this case, I close Google Chrome, and I click continue. You get the progress bar that the application is proceeding. You see it's uninstalled Google Chrome from a device and installed the new version. To not have the applications fighting, the old one and the new one. If the old one was required, I remove that assignment. So we only have the assignment for the new application. That wasn't too hard. Creating a Win32 app that removes all the older versions of a certain program and also breaking out of system context and prompt the user. So why didn't I just use the supersedence model? Well, let me just show you a couple of things. Let's go into another Google Chrome package and make this dependent or I mean supersede another Google Chrome installation. And let's go to that Google Chrome package that has been superseded. Let's try and delete this package. As you can see, that cannot happen because it is related to another app. If we remove the supersedence and try to delete the app again, application deleted successfully. And now for the best part, as I showed you in the last episode, we have all the locks we need to see the uninstall, the install, and what happened during the script. So using supersedence is fine, but when can you actually say that you upgraded 100% of your devices so you actually can clean up that application? Most likely never. I hope you enjoyed the content and got an idea about how to do application management inside Microsoft Intune. Until then, have a nice day.